So I'm really digging the sound of this uh, this M80 pickup. It's it's real natural. Um, yeah. Compared to the compared to the M1, what's different about it? Because they look they look the same, but definitely yeah. notice a difference in tone. They have a little bit of a different aesthetic with the little dark uh, part around the, the pole pieces, but the big differences are what they've done with the construction of it in order to get kind of a more acoustic sound out of it. Mm -hmm. um, with the M1. You got some of those, when you tap on the body, you could hear some of the upper frequencies come through. And what they've done with this one is take it to kind of the whole next few levels, and you hear the entire frequency range when mm -hmm. you tap on the guitar in three different axes. So it just sounds mostly, you know, a lot more like the guitar it's in and less magnetic. Right. Um, yeah, that's typically the the issue with the sound hole magnetic pickup is they usually sound more like a magnetic pick up and less like an acoustic guitar so right and the m1 did a pretty good job with that but this goes you know a whole step further at least mm -hmm. and i mean it might be too responsive for some players but it's definitely a really cool thing to hear in a sound hole pickup that doesn't have an actual microphone on it right so feedback's not as much of a problem mm -hmm. um, and the other two things they've done are they've added up a, a little battery indicator led meter which is probably hard to see in the camera there um, but you just press a button and watch the LEDs and they'll tell you if your battery is getting low. And they have also added an active passive switch so you have the option of not having the circuit, the preamp circuit engaged. That's really great. Um, if, you know, if you're at a gig and you have a battery failure, you can bypass the preamp. Whereas before, you know, with most pickups, if your battery goes there's, and you don't have a backup, there's nothing, nothing you can do about that. Right, or if you're the kind of person that just likes playing through the same preamp you've been using, the external preamp, um, and you're just used to a passive pickup, you know, you can do that without having to sacrifice what you're used to. Cool. And uh, just to demo how responsive the pickup is, I'm going to plug it into my amp here and just tap the top of the guitar. Um, so this will be first, with the, the amp space will be off, the volume's on zero. I'll get a nice kind of sound level. And I'll turn my amp up a little bit. So you can really hear there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of acoustic sound coming through the, through the amp. Which that's really useful because a lot of people have playing styles that emphasize tapping the body and tapping the strings. Exactly. So you, can get that, exactly. you can get that coming through the, the amp or the PA. So yeah, we're, we're really digging it so far and um, I think, think we'll do well with it. Thanks Brian. Bye.